Well, less than a decade ago, many African countries relied heavily on satellite connections for internet and telephone calls. Now, recently, there, have been, uh, there has been a revolution in communications with the connection of the continent to the rest of the world via undersea fiber optic cables, dramatically increasing transmission capacity of data and drastically reducing transmission time and costs. One of the most instrumental people behind the development of fiber optics is Thomas Menser, CEO of the Georgia Aerospace Systems and an authority in fiber optics and nanotechnology. Mr. Menser, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you, Vincent. Now, you know when people turn on the laptops or go on the internet in Africa or check on their cell phone messages, they're just grateful it's so fast. What is fiber optics and how does this enable that kind of communication to be faster and more efficient? Yeah, Vincent, fiber optics is really a, a, a very, very, very thin glass that people don't see because they always see the cable. That's right. Now, this glass has a coating on it that allows the glass not to break. That's how we can bend it and even put it on the sea. So when fiber optics was being developed uh, in the laboratory in Corning Glass Works, it stayed in the laboratory for 15 years mm -hmm. till I got there. Yeah. So you, you, you didn't just study this, but actually you have invented uh, and uh, patented quite a number of uh, uh, things that are related to fiber optics. Exactly. Uh, I was actually one of the four creators of this technology. Now, fiber optics is probably one of the most uh, important innovations in this century. You know, the, the idea to use lasers to send Facebook pictures to your tablet, to your cell phone, that whole concept started somewhere in 1972. But it took 15 years for us to be able to mass produce it and mass, mass market it because the cost of fiber optics was like $1 for a meter mm -hmm. and copper was 10 cents. So it didn't make sense to go and rip all the copper wires all over the world and yes. put fiber optics. Yes. But my first invention actually changed that, brought the cost of fiber optics to the same level as copper. That led to the spread of fiber optics throughout the United States. And also, a second invention allowed us to make strong fiber optic systems that you can put on the water or submarine to connect India, China, South Africa now Mm -hmm. as well as uh, other places. So we can pick up your cell phone and talk to somebody in Kenya, South Africa, or Ghana. And, and uh, you know, some uh, may by now have recognized that you're not only a black person, you are a son of Africa. How did it happen that you ended up being one of these great inventors uh, that has transformed not only the continent of Africa, but also the rest of the world? Yes, I was born in Ghana. And... Uh, luckily, when I was four years old, my dad used to read newspapers to me. So I was reading newspapers fluently when I was four. And so everybody thought, oh, maybe this kid is up to something. And my neighbor was from Togo, which is French-speaking country. So when I was eight, I was speaking French fluently. And so this is not a coincidence. This guy probably uh, is some, somebody special. And so uh, I attended... Uh, at the Sala College, one of the top performing uh, boys' schools in Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. And I won the French speaking uh, competition nationally twice. And the French were, of course, watching me and said, oh, maybe this is a guy we can send to France. And you spent some time in France, and I know that. Exactly. But about all the inventions, uh, you've actually put it in a book too, uh, to kind of explain how it all happened and all the inventions that you have uh, managed to patent up to this point. How many are they? Oh, well, I, I received seven patents in six years. Normally, it takes people 10 to even get one. Mm -hmm. So uh, the seven patents in six years are all in fiber optics, really transform fiber optics processing. But I have probably about 14 patents in general in nanotechnology and other areas. And uh, as you see later when we talk about it, I'm also creating what is called the first black Disney World. Oh, great. And there will be fiber optics in this, in this park. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and as we talk about it, it's an exciting thing, you know, which I'll bring up because we will redo the mid-passage 
right. you know, how right. slaves got here. We'll talk about that when we and get we'll, there. Yeah, when we get to our other conversation after this show. Sure. Thank you very, very much, uh, Mr. Mensa. And uh, thanks for the book. I hope we will be able to read and know so much more about you. Well, uh, Thomas Mensa uh, is a great, one of the great inventors of this world, the son of Africa.